Good morning, Falcons. I'm Ella Summers. And I'm Ethan Toro. Next week, Wednesday, will be a regular minimum day schedule for periods two, four, and six. This will be the last minimum day of the year. Graduation lays are now available for purchase. You will no longer be able to order these accessories after May 24th by 12 p.m. Distribution is on Thursday, June 10th from 4 to 6 p.m. Only on the grass in front of the main entrance at CVHS on Community Avenue. Purchases can be made online at the CVHS online store with credit or debit card or in person at the student store during school hours, cash only. More information is on the CV Bulletin. Graduation will take place on Friday, June 11th at the Rose Bowl in Pasadena. Gates will be open from 8 to 9 a.m. and the event will start at 9 and end at 11 a.m. Four tickets will be provided per graduate. Extra tickets may not be purchased. Athletic Information Night webinar is on May 24th. This is an athletic information night for all incoming ninth graders, new students, and parents. Coaches will be there and will provide information needed for tryouts. The Zoom link can be found on the school website. There are still spots available for the 2021-2022 Color Guard team. Color Guard performs with the marching band at home football games and local parades. Please see the flyer and email Mr. Shake at mshake at gusd.net if you're interested. Color Guard meets a few weeks before school starts again in the fall, so you'll want to sign up and get on their email list if you want to be a part of the fun next year. Now here's Nathan Costi with a look of the meaning of Memorial Day. Memorial Day is a federal holiday for honoring the military personnel who died while performing their military duties while serving the United States military. On May 5, 1868, General John A. Logan founded Decoration Day to be celebrated as a national military holiday. Later, it would be known as Memorial Day. This year, Memorial Day will be on Monday, May 31st. Memorial Day is known to be more of a joyous holiday, where we honor our soldiers in celebration, while Veterans Day is more of a sad holiday. I always love watching fireworks in the park. The Foothill Municipal Water District is sponsoring their annual student art calendar contest. The contest is open to all high school students. The theme this year is Water is Life. Artwork must either depict various water uses or wise water use. The link to apply is www.fmwd.com. The deadline to submit is June 7th. Senior prom update. On June 11th from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m., CV will be hosting a prom on campus. Tickets will be limited. The number of attendees is subject to approval from the Department of Public Health. Once ticket sales begin, CV will provide more details. At prom check-in, students must provide proof of full vaccination or proof of negative COVID test within 24 hours before the event. Now here's Arian with Movie Facts. After the 2019 release of the Safety Brothers hit film, Uncut Gems, many production issues were released, including the time it took to get this film made. The brothers started working on the script in 2010 and offered the role to Adam Sandler in 2012. Sandler's camp didn't even show him the script, stating he was uninterested. After Sandler refused, the Safety Brothers went ahead and worked on a few different films before coming back to the script. At one point, the late Kobe Bryant was attached to this film until he changed his mind, stating he wanted to direct instead of act. And then the role eventually went to retired NBA star Amari Stoudemire. After sitting on Stoudemire for a while, the brothers decided it was best if they made the film contemporary, so they opted for Joel Embiid, the Philadelphia 76ers star center. After almost being set on Joel Embiid, the brothers were told by the agents of Kevin Garnett that he wanted to get into acting and would be extremely interested in being in the film. The brothers made a slight change to the script, making it set in 2012 as opposed to 2019. Once the film was released, the acting of Sandler and Garnett was praised by critics, but not enough for an Oscar nomination. A common theme in Quentin Tarantino's 1995 film Pulp Fiction is the character of Vincent Vega always forgetting his assignment, and this is evident throughout the whole film. The first time he lives his assignment, it was never him and Mia come back from dinner to have drinks at the house of Marcellus Wallace. Vega goes to the bathroom to calm himself down as he's about to state something to Mia. When he comes out, Mia's overdose on cocaine is on the couch and is very close to passing out. Vega then takes Mia to a friend's house to see if they can help her. When it came time to shoot the scene where Vega injects Mia with the morphine, John Travolta was so scared to do it in case he was to hit a vein. The production crew then had a real doctor come and insert the needle safely, and at the end, the scene was shot in reverse, so John Travolta ultimately had to take the needle out instead of insert it. The second time Vincent Vega's karma comes around is when he leaves Jewel at the restaurant to use the restroom. When he exits the restroom, he walks into a restaurant that is now being robbed with his best friend at gunpoint. And last but not least, when Vega goes to the house of Butch Coolidge, played by Bruce Willis, to collect the debt he is owed. Vega sees that no one is at the house and decides to use the restroom once again. When Vega exits the restroom, Butch Coolidge is right outside the door waiting for him, and ultimately this leads to a very terrible and hilarious death. 
The film Knives Out, released in late fall of 2019, is an amazing wood hunt of a film and considered one of the best to be made in recent years. Director Ryan Johnson left many subtle easter eggs throughout the film, but one in particular had fans holding a big smile. Towards the beginning of the film, we see Martha looking at a picture of the late grandfather of the family she works for, Harlem Thromby. Mr. Thromby has a various look on his face as his family is having a meltdown as to how he was murdered and as to who will collect his inheritance. Once we get closer to the end of the film and it has been revealed who will get the inheritance, the picture of Mr. Thromby all of a sudden has a smile on it, indicating he was very happy with the reaction of his family and can be happier for the member who received the inheritance. Thanks for watching CVTV. Have a Falcon awesome week.